Well, as we said, all eyes are on Michigan this coming Tuesday, January 15th, and the candidates are pouring money into what is a must-win state for some. We're joined now from Detroit by the chairs of both the Republican and Democratic parties in Michigan. Thank you both for being here. Mark Brewer, the chairman of the Democratic Party, and Saul Anousis, the Michigan Republican Party chair. And I understand you guys do a, a weekly radio show, so you get along. Oh, yeah, we get along just fine. <laughs> <laughs> so let's start with you. Uh, what does this mean for your party at this, this race? Well, this has been tremendous for us. I mean, the, the candidates have been crisscrossing Michigan for the last year and a half. Uh, this last week, obviously, after New Hampshire has just been a boon. Uh, all the candidates have come in other than Giuliani and Thompson and have, I mean, literally, we've been having probably 100, 150 different events across the state that, uh, you know, Mitt Romney, John McCain, uh, Duncan Hunter, Mike Huckabee, and, and Ron Paul have been and visiting, and, and it's been very, very exciting for our folks. Mark, uh, for your side of the coin, only Hillary Clinton is on the ballot, and I understand there's a push to try to get uncommitted, uh, to, to get voters to, to vote essentially uncommitted so you can have the delegates at the convention uh, vote the way they want to do. Right. The Obama and Edwards campaigns, who are not on the ballot here, are urging their supporters to uh, use the uncommitted option as a way to express support for them on Tuesday. Saul, uh, is there a concern in the Republican Party about Democrats possibly voting for Republicans uh, and, and possibly voting to try to uh, maybe screw up the scenario of how Michigan Republicans vote? Uh, not really. I mean, I think the Democrats, including Mark and the party itself and the various candidates, have been encouraging their people to vote in their own primary. Uh, even though they're not on the ballot, I mean, it would be embarrassing for Senator Clinton to lose Michigan to uncommitted or not have a very good victory. And at the same time, if you are Obama or an Edwards person, to be able to beat Hillary Clinton in Michigan with an undecided vote would be pretty, uh, pretty devastating for her, I think. Are you guys uh, reconsidering this move that you, you moved it up on the calendar, Mark? I mean, do you feel maybe it was the wrong idea? No, not at all. I mean, it's been painful, particularly for us, uh, with the boycott and the candidates pulling off the ballot, all of which were induced and threatened uh, by Iowa New Hampshire. But we think we have pushed the reform idea forward. There's been a lot more debate around the country about this problem of having two states always going first. And I think a lot of people are coming to realize that we've got to reform this system. If you were designing a presidential nominating system from scratch, you would never design this system. <laughs> so, Saul, you're looking for big things out of Tuesday. Oh, absolutely. Look, this is going to be very exciting for us. Uh, you know, this is the first time we've come in with uh, Huckabee winning in Iowa, uh, uh, Romney going into Wyoming the next weekend, and then McCain coming out of New Hampshire. And so we have a wide open race on the Republican side. Uh, it's very close between Mitt Romney and John McCain. With I think we had five polls that came out in the last 24 hours showing it really neck and neck. So Michigan's going to have an impact. Michigan's going to make a difference as we head into okay. Super Tuesday. All right. Saul, Mark, thanks for being here. Good luck with Tuesday, and of course, we'll be watching.